Sir, <coughs> on behalf of the All India Trinamool Congress and its leader Mamta Banerjee, I rise to speak on the no confidence motion. I also speak on behalf of the India Alliance. I express confidence in the Supreme Court, which restored Rahul Gandhiji's membership. Also, I express no confidence motion against this government. I have to I have to say that I have nothing personal against Mr. Modi. But as Brutus said in Julius Caesar, not that I love Modi less, but that I love India more. If anybody loves India, they will oppose Modi. Because his government has been a government of failed promises and disastrous policy decisions. Still, sir, I do not want to make it personal. I do not want to raise the question of Modiji's educational qualification, over which there is a cloud. Nor do I uh, want to speak on Gujarat riots or the BBC documentary on Modiji on Gujarat riots. Sir, before going to my main point, on Manipur, I want to mention that this government is destroying federalism in the country. Yes. Its purpose is to weaken all state governments. West Bengal is a victim because Amit Shah went to Bengal and said, Agle bar doso par. BJP could not even get 80 seats. So they have stopped all money for Narega, which amounts to 7,300 crores, and for PM Abbas Jojna, which amounts to 8,400 crores. Our party has given a call. If the money is not released soon, then on 2nd October, we shall bring lakhs of people to Delhi to demand our share, our dues, in respect of Narega. Sir, I do not want to reply to Mr. Nishikant Dubey. He is a man desperate to get into the ministry somehow or other. So, he has to flatter the government. And he quoted all wrong history, which I don't want to go into. But I want to remind him that he belongs to an organization which did not participate in the August 42 movement. He belongs to an organization which was banned after Gandhiji's murder. I do not want to have any track with such organization and people representing it. Sir, before going further, I want to mention there are some ministers, sprinkling of ministers here, that ministers were control themselves. Earlier, Anurag Thakur went to a meeting in Delhi and said, Godi Maro dash dash. Yes. And now Minakshi Lekhi, minister from Delhi, is saying that don't speak against us. We shall send ED to your home. Yes. I want to say that I come from the land of Tagore, who said, don't fear. Ami bhai korbona bhai korbona. Duvela mora rage morbona bhai morbona. I shall not fear. And I shall not die twice before dying, actually. <laughs> Sir, this government is a government of the heartless. They are sending delegations to West Bengal on any plea. But not one delegation has gone to Manipur, where our brothers and sisters are dying. Sir, I will remind you that, uh, remind you of what Mark Antony said in Julius Caesar, you blocks, I will paraphrase it and say, you blocks, you stones, what, you worse than senseless things, oh you hard hearts, cruel men of BJP, 
you have no compassion that's why you have not gone to manipur as all the opposition parties have gone sir let me say a few words about manipur my young friend mr gaurav gogoi has very ably summed up the situation in manipur manipur athlete ethnic clashes between meitis and kuki started on 3rd may 2023 and are still continuing on 5th august five people three meitis and two kukis were killed in manipur in escalation of hostilities so far over 150 people have been killed at least 100 women were raped and over 70000 people have been displaced and 350 relief camps have been set up the delegation from india which went met people in relief camps in imphal and churachatpur nishikant did not mention a single word about manipur this government wants to forget sir the actual count may be higher and now these incidents in manipur remind one of the riots in rwanda between hutus and tutsis some years ago the worst incident in manipur came to light on 19th july when a video went viral showing two kuki women being stripped paraded naked on the streets and sexually assaulted by apparently mighty men sir are we living in a civilized country that this happens to our sisters this is unimaginable no action was taken by the police for more than 2 months until the video emerged this was due to internet shutdown in manipur which as gaurav mentioned is still continuing the prime minister opened his mouth after 80 days since the start of violence saying that his heart is full of pain and anger but he has not visited manipur till date now the supreme court has belatedly set up a three judge committee consisting of women judges this is good because when the government fails the highest court of the land has to take up the matter sir till today mobs of meitis are attacking kuki villages who are retaliating with slrs ak47 etc much of the arms are coming from abroad across a porous border and is funded by mainly poppy money opm money police armories are looted the government led by bjp chief minister viran singh who is a meiti has failed to maintain law and order i demand that he should be immediately dismissed and president's rule imposed on the state sir one interesting thing you are a doctor from ahmedabad you will realize that what was the prime minister doing from may to july this year when manipur was burning he visited seven countries in which usa from 20 to 23 june hiroshima japan 20th may australia may 24 france july 13 to 14 uae july 15 egypt to see the pyramids 24 to 25 june papua new guinea 24 to 25 july 2023 i and he was very proud that joe and jill biden had a biden gave a private dinner at what white house in his honor hum kehte hai na sahab log peet thok diya to sahab log usko private dinner diya bahut khush ho gaya aur hamare behan log udhar unko izzat chhina ja raha hai this is our prime minister sir is our prime minister a roving ambassador or a traveling salesman because he even went to sikar in rajasthan to campaign in the midst of all this now the prime minister has to reply why he was visiting foreign countries when manipur was burning so let me come to some other points the major failure of the government is to check price rise 
price of tomato is at 250 rupees a kg. He has failed to provide jobs. The God, it is destroying social harmony. We have seen the communal riots in Nu and Gurugram in Haryana. They are still continuing, polarizing the communities, destroying federalism. Sir, in Nu, allegations are made that only Muslim houses are being demolished by bulldozers. Sir, the government is destroying federalism by sending useless governors to states to disturb state governments, as in West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, and Delhi. Sir, the government has been weakening institution, Parliament to Election Commission. Modi never comes to attend Parliament. He has not replied to a single question in Parliament. I have seen many other parliaments. I have never seen a man like him who as Prime Minister does not apply, reply to a single question. He doesn't believe in parliamentary democracy. He does not believe in parliamentary yes. democracy. Yes. And maybe he... Sohat Rai Ji, you are a very worried member. Ho. Sir? Pradhan Mantri Ji. You are a very worried member. You are a very worried member. Pradhan Mantri Ji, you are a Pradhan Mantri. Don't do this. 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 आप बहुत बड़ा डॉक्टर हैं। बैठ जाइए। सर, सर, आप बैठ जाइए। आप आप बीजेपी के हैं, लेकिन बड़ा डॉक्टर हैं। इसलिए मैं आपको इज्जत करता हूँ। अचूक करवाइए तो। सर, the central agencies, ED and CBI, they they are used to target opponents and bring down opposition state government as it happened in Maharashtra. BJP has a big washing machine. No, 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 now he has become a good man. Amit Shah goes and praises him. Sir, I, I talk about demonetization. One mad decision by the Prime Minister. It, it caused chaos. 150 people died standing in queues for changing notes. Many MSMEs were totally wiped out. Sir, on farm bills, the government tried to press farm bills down the throat of the farmers. They resisted boldly and ultimately the government had to withdraw the farmer bills. But the farmers are still committing suicide. They are still committing suicide and the promise to double farmers' income by 2022 is not fulfilled. Sir, PSUs are being disinvested. Banks are writing off. 14 lakh crores NPS in the last nine years. PSUs are being privatized, including profitable ones like the LIC. Sir, I'm coming to the end of my tether. Sir, special advantages are given to some industrial houses, Tata's, Ambani's, and Adani's. Adani got most of the airports, including Mumbai Airport, by arm twisting, and then cement companies, and then land ports. Ambani, Ambani's persuaded the government to stop import of laptops, since it is bringing out laptops themselves. Tata's are buying Air India, are now buying out Vistara. Government has not given a statement on the Hindenburg research report on the Adani share scam till today. The Prime Minister avoids all discussion on Adani in the House. Sir, today LPG cylinders, as you may know, cost 1200 rupees. Government earned above 
rupees 27.0 lakh crores by increasing duties on petroleum product. Petrol now cost rupees 106 and diesel rupees 92 per litre in my city. Sir, the Prime Minister does not fulfil his promises. He promised 15 lakhs for every household, did not fulfil. He promised, he promised 2 crore jobs per year, he did not fulfil. And this lack of compassion was displayed when, during the pandemic, a sudden lockdown announcement, lakhs of migrant workers were seen walking to the, their homes, some dying on the roadside. Hundreds of dead bodies were found on the banks of the river Ganga. Today, unemployment is the biggest issue. Multinational corporations are sacking large number of technical people, both India and abroad. During the pandemic, one crore jobs were lost. Sir, they speak big on nationalism, but China is still camping on Indian territory in Galo and Ladakh and Doklam, Sikkim. Government cannot do anything. Now the government wants to rewrite history. Is planning to exclude the Mughal period from history books. Will foreign dignitaries not be taken to see the Lal Killa and Taj Mahal, which were built by Mughals? They are promoting people who are not actually good freedom fighters. V.D. Savarkar, on whom there may be a controversy, he pleaded mercy from the British to get out of cellular jail in Andaman in 1922. Bengali freedom fighters, they spent their full period in the Andamans. Savarkar got out. Sir, last, last question, control. last matter. Agya. Sir, the worst railway accident again showed the lack of compassion of the Prime Minister. 288 people died in a rail accident in Balaso. Thousands were injured. The PM did not care to visit Balaso, nor see the patients at the hospital. Our Chief Minister went, but the Prime Minister did not care to go. He does not care. He said, huh? After what's after? Finally conclude. Yeah. Sir, last. I'm Professor, not... conclude. Sir, the government is in a hurry in introducing Bande Bharat trains and new stations. Safety is ignored. Today, truth does not come out. News channels are muzzled. Most of them are bought over by big business. Sir, that's why I want to say the Supreme Court has already expressed no confidence in the government. By Thank you very much. Sir, sir, Thank I'm you. finishing. Sir, two minutes. Thank you. By, by setting up the three-judge committee, sir, the Prime Minister will not win the 2024 election. He is scared. Thank you. Thank India you. has been formed. Thank you. He's now, he is now depending on inauguration of Ram Mandir. Thank you, thank you. Not. Lastly, sir, let me make a quotation, read a quotation from John Dunn, as quoted in Ernest Hemingway. He said, every man's death diminishes me, for I am involved in mankind. Therefore, ask me not, for whom thank the you. It tolls for the, Thank you, Sagat Raji. For the Thank Prime you. Minister Narendra Modi. Thank you, sir. Thank you.